Welcome to Cell in a Nutshell. Hi, I'm Dr. Linda Silbert, and I am so honored to be here today with you. Thank you also for being here. I know what it's like at home and to get out into a meeting, and I know what it's like. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I want to talk to you about why we created, my husband and I, the Cell in a Nutshell program. We wrote a book, Why Bad Grades Happen to Good Kids, with the forward by Al Roker. And what we were focusing on was why did some kids actually succeed in school? And some with the same intelligence and good kids did not succeed in school. It's interesting. What we found was that children who succeeded, their parents treated them the same way if they came home with an A or a D. Their parent went and researched, let's see what happened. Their parent was their ally. They worked with them, okay? And they let their children know through their words and their actions that they really cared about them. They said it. They didn't just assume, oh, they know it. I, I, I don't have to say anything. They don't know it. They've, they, these, parents, these parents actually said it. And we also saw that these children felt safe physically and emotionally in school and at home. We also found that they had a sense of belonging to the family. They were part of the family, not on the outside looking in. They were an important part of, the same, of their school and of the community. They also had good relationships with their parents and their teachers. And they were brought up in an environment where there were clear, logical boundaries to give them a sense of security. Two more things we found that were really interesting. Socially, they were very healthy. They could get along with others. They had empathy for others. They could engage in positive relationships. And emotionally, we saw they managed their own behavior. They had very good coping skills. And they made really responsible choices. So we put it all together and we created Cell in a Nutshell social and emotional learning. It's a program to help schools help their students become emotionally and socially healthy because what we found was schools that already implemented a program in cell, those children's grades went up. They started to go up and they really went up. There was a big difference. And we also saw that the parents reported there was less fighting at home about homework. There was less tears. And these children seem to have lifelong problem-solving skills um, that went with them throughout life. So how is Cell in a Nutshell going to work in your child's school? Okay, your children, no matter what grade, will have a 30-minute, about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, weekly reading and or writing assignment. Okay, it's we're not taking away from any schooling. It's gonna be incorporated in all the schooling. The lessons will be either reading a story, performing in a play, writing, um, some kind of writing experience. The topics are gonna to include family, friendship, bullying, listening, responsive, how to make responsible choices. And then each lesson will be followed by an engaging activity. Parent involvement, your role is so important because your actions and your words significantly impact your child's feeling of self and their feeling about school. Children who know their parents care about their education usually become good students. Why your involvement matters even more because many parents believe the only role they have, now think about it, is to say, did you do your homework? Let me see your homework. And if the child gets a bad grade on a test, then they punish them. And that's all they think. That's, that's their role as far as education. But it's not. In truth, the teachers can't do it alone. Students who succeed in school always have parent support behind them. So join us.
join us for our cell program. And we're going to send you invitations. You'll be getting these little invitations throughout the year to attend to play your child's and to join a class celebration, to work on a project in class with your child, or just to be, you'll be invited to talk about an ex some expertise of your, of your own or family traditions. If you can't make it, we understand. We fully understand because parents are so busy. Um, so if you can, please invite your invite their grandparents, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, any relative. Um, see if there's someone else that could be with them that day. And if they can't, they will always be with another family in the class. You're also going to receive 40 tips to understand your child's social and emotional development. Okay. Parents wouldn't know this, but it's going to give you an idea of where your child is, whether they're six, nine, ten. And if there's any problem and you're looking, you're going, oh, wait a minute, my child has never done this. And you're concerned, contact your teacher, contact your pediatrician. But now you're going to have something to follow. Um, for example, if you have a four to seven year old, they live in fantasy. That's why giving a child grades or saying, you just failed, you you have to sit down and read more. First of all, most kids don't read till six. I don't know where this came from. Everyone's going to be reading at four and five. They don't. Most children don't even begin to six. The brain cells aren't there yet. It's like giving a baby steak and they don't have teeth. They With these children, they don't have the brain cells. Okay, so during this stage, you you have to understand where your child is coming from. Or if you have a seven to 12-year-old, They've now gone from um, fantasy into reality, but they can't really see both sides of the picture. They just know this is what is, and they become very caught up on it. The rules rule. Before I leave, I want to have some closing thoughts. We urge you to please become part of your child cell program. Your participation will support your child's teacher who will have a much better chance of unlocking your child's full academic potential. Together, we can significantly impact your child's educational journey. Thank you again for coming here today. We look forward to working with you throughout the year in order to help your child have a really good school year. <music>